it's 1727. 1727, Lee, you're just 16. You're going to be dead in a minute. The Dutch ship Zavik has been shipwrecked for six months when the captain makes a note in the margin of his journal. This will turn out to be the first European record of queer people on this continent. Whoa! 1727, there was a reference to queer people. Two persons, both boys, were found committing the abominable sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodomy. What's sodomy? Butt stuff. <laughs> we resolved to place them, each apart, marooned on a separate island. They murdered them. Yeah. What an awful story. Is that Zoe Coombs Ma? Very funny lady. Someone should do a history documentary about it. This is the queer history of Australia, as presented by Zoe Coombs Oh, sorry, no, I didn't mean me. No. Queer Australia. I'm not qualified. The whole queer history of Australia, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's going to be a Educational? Loony. Yes. It's the history that people just don't talk about. Even me, an out gay man, knows nothing about queer history here in Australia. Mm. None of our experiences were being recorded by the historians. Growing up in school, we didn't learn about queer history, we didn't learn about anything other than white Australian history. Often it is only when people who are queer came into contact with police that we actually have uh, some of that evidence. It was illegal to be gay, like illegal, illegal. Oh, really? Convicted of an unnatural offence, sentence of Death. Death. In Australia? What? That is pretty extreme. There's a self-fulfilling prophecy here. Queer people are criminalised, invisible, and only seen when we commit crimes, so we come to be viewed as inherently criminal, justifying further criminalisation. I can so relate to all these people because I think back of my cousins mm. and my best friend that were gay. I had to hide it. Really? Yeah, because back then it wasn't acceptable. Should homosexuals have to meet furtively at night in places like this because of the existing law? Let's talk about beats. 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 Do you know what beats are? No. Many gays cruise certain public lavatories for instant anonymous sex. Oh, OK. Yeah, way before the era of Grindr and <laughs> apps. Some gays have had as many as 2,000 encounters in lavatories. All those toilets along the Yarra used to be beats. They had to kind of go, only go there because they couldn't go nowhere else. Gay people being pushed to the margins of society and having to find places in the park to hook up. Police knew that they could go out into the parks and the public toilets and entice men into propositioning them. Wow! And then once there was some response, they would grab you. But we're not going to arrest you, we're actually going to just flog you in the street. That was a thing, gay bashing was a thing. The police would take off the uniforms and then go out and bash gay men. It was horrible. When I was a teenager, I knew boys who went to private boys' schools who would hang around public toilets to bash up gays. And that goes on quite extensively in the 50s into the 60s and 70s. This is freaking terrible. In 1970, CAMP is formed, the Campaign Against Moral Persecution, and shortly after, Australia's first gay rights demonstration happens. Fight back, baby. There are radical lesbians, gay liberation. Huge societal revolution occurred and gay rights was part of it. Spoiler alert, homosexuality is eventually decriminalised. I want to look up when it became unillegal. It takes forever, but it does happen. Here you go, they're going to tell us. Don't even have to Google it. 1970s? ACT? ACT 1976. Not okay. New South Wales. No. Not Victoria. No. 1980? Better late than never. Exactly. What? Northern Territory before New South Wales. 1997? Tasmania! Oh, my God! That's not that long ago. Hell no. Well, Tassie's always real late to the party with everything. I remember going there a couple of years ago and they had their first Subway sandwich shop open and they were, like, all stoked about it. We were all in the closet. Right, but this was the moment. Here we are, homosexuals, yeah! For me, like, coming out was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And it would have been harder for you. Married with two kids Ooh. and having to do that journey, it was hard as. I think we've come a long way, but I still think oh, there's a have fair so way to go as well. Go. However difficult it is, however much history bears down on you with a weight of pain and trauma, you can change things for the better. It can be done anyway. It's just the beginning, baby. That was a really good doco. So interesting and just so much stuff I did not know. When I was young, growing up, you have full foot, well, homosexuals and all that, don't want nothing to do with them and all of that, but you learn as you, grow, as you get older. I just feel 
so privileged to be able to sit here and have the right to be who I am because of them.